Following the excavation by Cullum Flynn Archaeology of a kist burial at Teverin in County Westmeath, it was proposed that the stone lining should be transported to the UCD Centre for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture, so that the site might be reconstructed. This experiment would help us to further understand how the stone lined kist had been built in the early Bronze Age. One of the biggest challenges of this work was moving the large stones without modern machinery. This required quite a large group of people working in close cooperation, suggesting that the wider community probably came together to build these types of graves in the Bronze Age. First, the large stones were moved from their source, which at Teverin was probably over one kilometre away from the kist. Then they had to be carefully manoeuvred into the grave pit using levers and ropes. To construct a stone-lined grave such as this, it also took time to arrange the placement of the stones in order to create a proper box-like structure. Small packing stones were important in order to keep in place the upright stones that lined the grave. Many such packing stones were found around the kist during excavation, and it is suggested that they were sourced from nearby esker deposits. During the reconstruction experiment, it was also important to continuously cross-check the work against the original excavation archive, to make sure that it was an accurate reflection of what had originally been found at Teverin. Reconstructing the early Bronze Age kist in this way allowed a greater understanding of the challenges of moving large stones long distances as well as the amount of time and labour that local communities must have invested in building these types of burial places. In consultation with the National Museum of Ireland, the UCD Centre for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture also created a 3D photogrammetric model of the pottery vessel that was found in the Teverin Kist. This provides a very detailed record of the artefact and allows us to examine how the pot was made and decorated without impacting the original vessel. Based on the 3D model and photographs, Dr. Brendan O'Neill created a replica vessel using authentic materials and traditional techniques. The decoration alone took four hours to complete. When finished, the pot was fired with other vessels in a wood-fueled fire pit a process that would have been common during the Bronze Age. To complete the reconstruction, the pottery vessel was carefully placed in the kist before the large capstone was moved into position and the grave was once again closed. <laughs>